Hello, I'm Hillary Stevens for Symbolics. Today we'd like to take this opportunity to show you Concordia, an object-oriented document management system from Symbolics. Concordia is a unified document development and delivery system that enables a technical writer or team of writers to create, edit, revise, maintain, and deliver large, complex document sets. Symbolics has considerable experience in the creation of high productivity development tools for software. We capitalized on that experience and applied it to the creation of an equally powerful development environment for documentation. Let's look at some of the problems technical writers face in creating document sets. Technical writing poses many of the same problems as software development. The documents are very large, are very complex, have long development cycles, and have long lifetimes. In addition, like software, the documents are not fixed once they are generated, but must be continually revised and maintained to reflect current information. There are also unique problems that technical writers face. For example, they are often required to generate multiple versions of the same material, either for the purposes of having different documents or for having different modes of delivery. In addition, documentation of a software system is tied to that schedule. Delays in the software get compounded in the documentation schedule. The combination of these factors results in documentation that's often late, incorrect, inconsistent, and over budget. On top of that, Documentation is traditionally the last of the deliverables to be finished. Therefore, errors or schedule slips are both highly visible and very costly. Symbolics recognize these problems, the needs of this market, and the applicability of our software tools and methodologies. We also have a first-hand perspective of the documentation process in the development of our own system documentation. Concordia is the result of a joint effort of the software developers and technical writers. It combines the best that both have to offer in software technology and documentation experience. The two major goals of the Concordia project have been to improve the productivity in document development and to improve the quality and provide flexibility in document delivery. Writer productivity is enhanced by reusability of sections of text, ability to separate content, structure, and appearance, automation of document management tasks, standardization of book design for entire projects, configuration management tools that support teams of writers. Quality improvements are supported by ability to maintain frozen and development versions, modularity to let individual changes propagate to every reference, single source to generate online and printed documentation, hypertext model for online document access, and facility for online preview of page layout. In order to understand how Concordia meets these goals, we need to look at the product itself. This diagram will provide an overview of the organization of Concordia. At the heart of Concordia is a document database. The database is an organized way of managing all the information related to the document, including the text that will be printed, as well as index information, private notes, etc. The database is composed of records which are defined as independent semantic building blocks. The writers modularize the subject matter into records and build up documents by linking records together. Records can access or be accessed by any other record. This allows for the creation of different types of documents based on the same material. The database serves as the hub of Concordia. Each of the spokes interacts with the database to generate, maintain, and access the database records. The text editor supports the creation and maintenance of the text records. The graphics editor supports the creation and manipulation of graphic images. The formatter provides formatted output for the various means of delivery, both printed and online. The page previewer enables online viewing of an exact facsimile 
of the ultimate printed form of the documentation. Document Examiner permits viewing of the documentation through an online hypertext interface. And various utilities support the integration of documentation into software applications. Now that we have a picture of Concordia, let's take a writer's eye view of the document development process. This is Charles Dale, a senior technical support engineer with Symbolics. He'll walk us through some capabilities of the system. We'll start in the text editor. Charles will create some records and show how to build up documents. First, we'll create the template for a new record with a single mouse click and provide the record name. Charles will enter the text. In addition to this text, he will add an itemized list. We don't need to know the specific formatting requirements for an itemized list. We can simply insert the itemized directive, again with a mouse click, and enter the contents of the list. Notice that markers were automatically inserted around the text for the itemized list. These markers not only form the itemized command, they also serve to visually separate the itemized construct from the rest of the text in the record. This makes it very easy to see the way the information in the record is organized. And since the markers are generated automatically, the possibility of typographical errors is eliminated. Concordia provides the ability to format on demand any part of any document. Let's preview the record just created. This time, Charles will use the mouse to select the preview option. He could also execute any command using the keyboard. As you can see, the system created an itemized list, putting bullets before each item and spacing the list according to default parameters. Now we want to make a change to this record. Rather than having the list be itemized, we will have it be a numbered list. Again, we don't have to provide the system with any information about how to format this list. And in this case, we will reuse the information typed in the itemize. Charles will simply bring up a menu and change the option for the type of list. When we preview the record again, you will see that the result is now a numbered list. This simple example shows the ease of creating records and interactively managing the appearance of the text. Concordia also provides a facility for specifying global aspects of the layout. For example, the way chapter titles are printed or the amount of indentation in an itemized list. Book designs can be defined for the entire project so individual writers do not need to know them or implement them while they're writing. Let's now create a second record. We'll add some text, create a link to the first record, and add more text. By creating this link, we are making an association between the two records. In this case, Charles chooses a link that includes the contents of the first record in the second record. You could also include just a cross-reference to it or a summary of the first record. Let's format the second record. It includes the text of the first record right at the location where the link command was included. This shows the way in which documents are built up. It is as simple as creating individual records and making links between them. To continue the example, let's include a piece of already existing documentation into our test record. We'll use a section from the Symbolics document set as an example. Charles will add a link to a record using its name. He doesn't need to specify the file containing the record, nor the machine on which the file resides. Instead of formatting the new record, let's look at its structure. With a mouse click, we can see the structure of the record as a graph, with the names of all the referenced records. Concordia provides tools like the graph links, so the user can visualize the growing document by viewing its structure. So far, we have created records, formatted the contents, and viewed the structure of the document. Now, let's take a look at some of the graphic capabilities of Concordia. 
Graphic images are easily integrated with the text. These images can be generated by software, come from PostScript or bitmap images, or be created in the graphic editor. We will now show you some of the capabilities of the graphic editor. During our text editing, we brought up a record from the Symbolics document set that uses a previously defined picture. Since pictures are just data objects to the system, we can click the mouse on the reference to edit it. That will move us to the graphic editor, automatically loading in the picture. Again, we do not need to know where it's stored. The system keeps track of these details. Like the rest of Concordia, the graphic editor uses an object-oriented approach to data modeling. Picture elements displayed on the screen have links to their internal representations. Manipulating the displayed images actually changes the internal data structures. Charles will start by changing some of the default drawing attributes. This can be done, as with everything else in Concordia, through a simple mouse interface. Notice that the menu of sample shapes is redrawn using the newly chosen settings. These options control the way new objects will be created. We will now add and manipulate objects in the picture. We will first enter some text. Now we will copy a previously created object. From the drawing menu, we will create new graphic elements. Charles is using standard as well as arbitrary shapes. We will now show how you can alter previously created graphic objects. Charles is changing a specific attribute, the way corners are drawn. Once we have completed work on the picture, we click on Done and return to the text editor. At this point, a reference to the graphic will either be inserted or updated in the record depending on whether a reference to the picture already existed. Up to this point, we have concentrated on the tools used by writers. Now, let's move on and look at how we produce the documentation. Concordia is unique in the variety of delivery strategies it offers. Users can distribute documentation in printed form, online under application program control, or online through Document Examiner, our interactive interface to document sets. Concordia provides numerous facilities that support the delivery of printed documentation, including automatic generation of table of contents, index page, and cross-referencing, smart hyphenation, write justification. These features generate high-quality typographic output. The page previewer is another tool provided by Concordia that supports the delivery of printed documentation. The page previewer lets a user preview an exact facsimile of any part of a document online. It shows the user exactly how the document will appear and thus provides the opportunity to proof the layout before committing it to paper. We'll look at the page previewer by clicking the mouse on the associated icon. First, we'll execute the command Format Pages on the last record we created. This command generates the table of contents, the indexes, and the formatted text. Notice that key words and phrases on the screen are sensitive to the mouse. This means that commands are tied to this information. Operations can be executed by clicking the mouse directly on the text. For example, we can look at the structure of another section simply by clicking on the cross-reference. Okay. From the page previewer, we can save the formatted text into files or send it to be hard copied. This can be done on any portion of a document. Let's send a page of our record to the printer. You can see how the printed version corresponds to the version we're looking at. Now, let's look at how Concordia supports online delivery of documentation. One way is through Document Examiner. It is a hypertext system that gives users random access to documentation. The reader can access the documentation in a linear, book-like fashion. Alternatively, the reader can access the text in any order by examining specific topics or following cross-references. 
And since topic names and references are sensitive to the mouse, the user doesn't even need to know or type the topic name. There are multiple ways of accessing the information. By topic name, by general topic areas, by keywords, by table of contents, or through the structure of the document. Let's look at a few examples. Charles will first execute the Show Candidates command on a keyword from the record he just created. This operation is analogous to a manual search through an index. It will present a list of document topics that refer to the keyword, including the record just created. We can now use the mouse on these topic names to get more information, specifically overviews of the topics or the text of the topics. Charles will now click the mouse on one of the topics to get its overview. As you see, the system informs you of the name of the printed book it appears in, the name of the higher level topic it falls under, and a tree of all the lower level topics that come from it. This is analogous to accessing the table of contents. As you can see, all of these topic names are mouse sensitive. We can once again use the mouse to show the overview or the contents of any topic. Charles will click the mouse on a topic to show its documentation. The text is immediately presented in the viewer. The user can scroll through the text or the text of any topic previously brought in for viewing. The system keeps bookmarks for you so you can easily go back to a previous topic or review what you've read. The text of the document itself is active. As the mouse is moved around, you see that words and phrases are highlighted. This means that these are independent topics that have associated documentation. Their documentation or overviews can again be accessed through the use of the mouse. This shows how readers can access documentation in any order to follow their train of thought. We have seen one of the approaches to online document delivery. Concordia's other approach to online delivery is through system integration. Concordia allows users to integrate documentation with software applications. Documentation can be accessed and presented by the program. There are tremendous benefits to such integration. For example, a diagnostic expert system can access the relevant sections of the reference manuals. This saves the technician a significant amount of time in locating the proper section of the documentation, thereby eliminating unnecessary downtime. On top of the facilities already mentioned, Concordia also provides tools for document configuration management and input and output conversion. All of these capabilities combine to yield a powerful system for the development, delivery, and management of major documentation projects. Concordia provides an integrated set of tools that manage all the stages in the development of complex document sets. As a result, Concordia supports a faster and more controlled development cycle, a faster and more cost-effective revision cycle, and a flexible information delivery strategy. These benefits translate into higher productivity, faster time to market, and lower costs. In short, Concordia is the solution to large-scale, complex documentation problems.